trainer Eric Adams. Third choice as they come off the turn into the stretch, 6-1 to one and number 6, St. Lad's Lotto. Pacers hit the board in back-to-back -back starts for trainer Glenn Lalonde. It's post time for the 11th race. Eleventh race field lined up, ready for liftoff. They're off and pacing. Ken Beck, King Casimir pointed at the lead by Davis. Goes for, gets command, does King Beck. King Casimir, second on the outside, Shock and Rock. As Philion pushes the button early on him tonight, Shock and Rock is blasting out of there. Bilbo Hanover got rough for a couple of steps there. Safta kind of gather him up, and others scattered. Into the first turn they go. Shock and Rock is on the point. Pocket sitting, Canbeck King Casimir. Driving up to challenge on the outside. Now from in third, here second, and rolling up on the outside comes Water Sides Skipper. Field by the quarter in 27 flat. Shock and Rock has got the racetrack now, and he doesn't want to give it up to 10 to 1 shot. Waterside's Kipper. So that one race, race is parked out on the outside as the field marches across the backstretch. Right there from third is Ken Beck King Casimir. Zark is back to the rail from in fourth, and we've got a tussle on our hands. Half mile of 55 flat. Shock and Rock on the inside leaves Waterside's Kipper out there. Right there from third, Ken Beck King Casimir. Zark in a helmet fourth. The inside trip from in fifth as the field goes to the far turn is adversary Seelster. Then it's back six to Hopi's Dragon in the Dew. Gearing up from the backfield, St. Lad's Lotto. Bilbo Hanover towards the rail from an eighth position now. Scarlet Chaser ninth outside and trailing from in tenth as the field comes to three quarters. Zeb's Cambo Shock and Rock still with that lead. He is half a length in front at three quarters in 124 but he's been under the gun all the way. Under the gun by the parked out Waterside's Kipper. Up off cover from the backfield now. Zark and adversary Seelster wants some four wide racetrack as they come into deep stretch. Eighth of a mile to go. Shock and Rock. Waterside's Kipper. What a trip he's gone from post 10. Parked every step of the way. Adversary Seelster from the backfield launching late for Houdon. And here comes adversary Seelster who's up in time to win. Adversary Seelster over Waterside's Kipper. Closing third was Hopi's Dragon in the Dew. Tight for the balance in 153 and 2.